Hey guys, Brian from Snowwalk Bushcraft. Today we're going to have another discussion in the Winter Skills series. And uh, today, uh, with hypothermia, something that you have to be aware of is uh, frostbite. So we're going to talk about that today. So don't go away. Alright, so today, guys, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about frostbite. And the quick definition of frostbite is the freezing of the body's tissues. If you treat it early enough, there is little to no damage that can occur. If it's left untreated and you let it, you know, continue on and get more severe and it worsens, you run the risk of having permanent damage uh, and even up to the loss of the tissue that's associated to the frostbite itself. Alright, so the signs of frostbite, the skin becomes very pallid. And that's due to the lack of blood that's actually flowing to those tissue areas. <clears throat> there is numbness and pain associated to those areas as the tissue begins to cool down and start to freeze. If it's left unchecked, the skin may start to become very white and very waxy in appearance. <clears throat> it also starts to harden even further. And then finally, if nothing's done about it and there's no rewarming, it'll freeze solid and can actually turn black, depending upon how severe the frostbite is. So, how can we prevent it? Well, let's take a look at that now. Alright, so how are we going to prevent frostbite? Well, very simply, it's much like hypothermia. We want to actually insulate the body from the mechanisms of heat loss, right? Our radiation, our conduction, our convection, and finally evaporation, right? And one thing you have to think about different things that you're wearing or using on you know, on your body at the time. And a good example of this is if you have eyeglasses on, all right, uh, even metal frame sunglasses, and they're up against your body, if they get cold, right, you run the risk of actually getting frostbite along where the eyeglass metal actually touches your skin. So these are things that you have to think about. Um, you know, someone asked me on my channel, when uh, I was talking about the winter wear, using scarves and things of that nature. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons why I like deep hoods, all right? Uh, when I made this blanket shirt, as a matter of fact, I put a very deep hood so that I can wear it down over the top of my face and I can walk into the wind if I actually have to. Because wind is a big, major contributor to, obviously, having frostbite. So, that's one of the ways that I combat it. Also, if you carry chapstick, uh, or I like a product called Dermatone, uh, it comes in a little tin, a little round tin, almost looks like a shoe polish tin, or it comes in a stick form. Uh, I actually like it because I'll put it all over my face. Um, and it actually kind of gives a barrier and helps keep the skin moist and warm. <coughs> you know, when you're out. A little basic treatment for frostbite or frost nip, actually, is in the early stages, you can actually go skin to skin, all right? Rewarm the affected area. Once it's been reworn, protect it, cover it, gloves, whatever you need to do, wrap the affected area up, and make sure you keep it warm, and you shouldn't have any problems. If it's a more severe case, okay, you may want to consider rewarming out in the field. And if you rewarm out in the field, you're going to need water at about 105 degrees. <clears throat> Caution with rewarming out in the field. Unless you can protect the area that has been rewarmed, all right, if it refreezes, you're going to do more damage than if you had left it alone and got the person out or got yourself out all right, and sought medical attention. It's very debilitating, and if you have someone whose feet are frozen, right, and you rewarm them, they're going to be incapacitated, and you're going to have to carry them out, right? Not exactly something that you want to have to do, right? The best advice that I could give, and is what I would do, is you get the person out of the cold, try to keep maintain their body core temperatures. Remove them out of the area that you're in. Right? 
and I'd seek medical attention. That is what I would suggest. All right. So that's frostbite in a nutshell. Again, another quick discussion, but something that you should be aware of, especially if you're out in the wintertime. So this is Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft. Thank you for your views and your comments, and until the next one, walk the woods.